Greetings. So this is going to be another general energy reading for the Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. This particular reading here is for those of you who were dealing with someone or may be still dealing with someone where you're like, what the fuck is wrong with them and why do they act the way that they act? This is meant to, to provide clarity um, in a higher perspective or in a perspective outside of yourself so that um, you kind of know how to move forward. Um, whether that be to move forward away from this person or to whatever it is. Um, I hope that this all resonates for you, but please keep in mind that it's general, so it may or may not resonate. If you are interested in tapping into your own personal energy, all the information that you will need will be in the description box below. Also, thank you so much to all of my new subscribers and my old subscribers. I really appreciate your support. If you are new to my channel and you are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. Also, um, if this message resonates for you, please give it a thumbs up and comment. I would love to hear from you all. If anyone is interested in participating in daily pick a card readings, you can follow me on Instagram at Bree Spirit God Insight. I also have reviews posted on there as well. Okay. And also, this doesn't necessarily have to resonate in the sense of romantic or um, intimate relationships. It can, but it is general, so apply it where it applies. If it doesn't apply, I'm sorry. It just maybe wasn't meant for you. So let's see. So Leo, I feel like you're dealing with someone who may not be as available to you or not emotionally available to you because uh, they're very... Um, Focus on money or obtaining money here. Okay, cool. So, yeah, I'm. that's really what I'm getting for you all. We have the Ace of Pentacles, the Six of Wands in reverse, and the Eight of Cups. We have the Four of Pentacles, the Two of Swords in reverse, and the Judgment card. We have... The Queen of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles in Reverse, and the Two of Pentacles. We also have the Five of Pentacles in Reverse, the Ten of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. So I feel like as far as um, what the challenge is, is that it could be that this person um, may be... Um, like they're they may not be as emotionally investing in the situation with you because they may be somewhat depressed or disappointed and maybe um getting a job or how finances are for them or it could be a thing where this person is more so focused on finances and money and things like that so they are not available to you or the situation so let's see why the yeah we have the ace or the lover's card in reverse clarifying the ace of pentacles and we also have the ace of swords so i feel like this person is um and has communicated this to you in the past or um could be even in the present but i feel like that's something that they talk about and they put a lot of their energy and focus into here so let's see why is the eight of cups here <laughs> We have the Queen of Pentacles. So, also, I forgot to mention the signs. Um, we have Gemini here. We have Sagittarius. We have Water. So, that could be Cancer, Pisces, or um, Scorpio. We also have Pentacle Energy. So, Taurus, Leo, Capricorn. We have... Um, yeah, that's really what I'm seeing. It could be any other sign, but those are um, the energies that I'm picking up the most. Um, so let's see. I feel like I feel like this person has to feel stable within themselves and have to feel secure within their finances in order for um, them to make decisions in other areas and to be mentally clear um, fully. I feel like when this person is not secure, 
um, they can't make rational decisions and they're not comfortable in making decisions because they're not comfortable in where they are. So um, I feel like this that's why this person is so focused in this kind of way. Um, so let's see, what's the judgment card here? We have the Eight of Swords in reverse and the Page of Cups. I feel like once this person is able to kind of get on their feet or get where they're wanting to get to with the Four of Pentacles being here or as far as finances um, and their stability, I feel like they'll be more, a lot more emotionally receptive and a lot more um, complimenting and a lot more affectionate and those kind of ways that maybe you want i feel like right now as far as this person in communication goes it may be very dry or very direct or very like hey what do you want like no small talk it's just kind of like getting down to what is wanted and what is not wanted and i feel like um you may want this person to open up more as far as like feelings and things go um so clarifying the four pentacles we have the ace of wands and the priestess so this person could also be um the person you're dealing with could be working on something creative um so this person could kind of be i feel an energy of someone like pursuing their dreams as well so this person could be into something creative some sort of artist whether that is music painting um even the work that i do anything like that i feel like um this person is kind of you know putting their energy and their all into those creative um opportunities and endeavors we have a lot of bases so i feel like this person is really like i feel like they've put a lot of thought and a lot of structure into how they're going to go about this and i feel like they're just trying to stay determined in that um but like I said, I feel like once this person feels stable um, and sets a foundation in what they are currently doing within or as far as finances and things, I feel like they'll open up more in a more affectionate way. So here, as what you do um, or what you can do to change the situation, we have the Queen of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, and the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like you have to stop being so worried about this person and them investing in you and kind of putting that work and effort into yourself i don't feel like it has to be a thing where you cut this person off but i just feel like it needs to be a thing where you make sure that you come first and that your stability comes first just like this person is doing i feel like embody that energy and if things do move forward especially if this is a romantic relationship i feel like you both will be a lot more in alignment with one another to really move forward into something great um let's see why is the queen of cups here but i just feel like you know take care of yourself and emotionally balance yourself and be emotionally mature in the sense that um understanding that it's it doesn't have to be necessarily a bad thing if this person isn't emotionally um available right now and i feel like you should just you know and put that energy elsewhere or to benefit yourself so clarifying the queen of cups we have the two of wands and we have the four of cups so I think, you know, be I be realistic with yourself in the sense that where could this go long term? And if you feel like it could go somewhere long term, then you kind of have to um, kind of like uh, balance your energy into like in a way of believing and just kind of allowing and surrendering and receiving that to come in whenever it may but i feel like it may be a thing for a while where things like there's an offer on the table but nothing's being decided or nothing's being moved on to and i feel like it's because um this person is working on their stability and i feel like they may not feel like they can offer you really anything um a value value until they get their things together within themselves so the potential for change, we have the five of pentacles in reverse, the ten of wands, and the three of pentacles. So I feel like this person is going to, with this energy and this ambition and um, them moving forward, I feel like they will move into a job that will work for them and really start off something and be able to network and work with other people. Um, I feel like this is going to be kind of like a long journey or maybe not even a long journey, but for a while it's going to be a lot of work. So I feel like as far as potentials to change, 
um, as far as their open availability, I feel like they may open up to you um, more with the five of pentacles here, but I get more so that whatever financial um, issues they're dealing with currently will come and like rebalance themselves and um, this may allow them to be more open in a romantic sense or in the way that you're wanting, whether this is time or um, whatever it is. Yeah, we have the Hierophant, that's the Taurus card. So I feel like this person will be able to commit to something with you once they kind of feel more secure within their finances. So why is the Ten of Wands here? Or you know what, I don't need to know why that's there. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? I feel like things um, can also progress and work with you as well. Um, okay, we have the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Cups in reverse. So be mindful of this because we do have the Hierophant here and the Ten of Cups is here. So just the fact that the energy is here um, is a good omen. And um, But I just feel like it could turn into something where um, it turns into a sexual connection or things move too fast. And I feel like you maybe want to be careful of that. If you are wanting, indeed, um, an actual commitment from this person, I feel like this person, the way their mindset is, because there's nothing wrong with having sex with someone on the first day and, you know, kind of um, wanting that to move into something more later on, if that's your situation. But I feel like this person, that for a lot of you that you could be dealing with in particular, um, has this mindset that there has to be work hard work implemented and things and a lot of energy and effort and you know just work put into something before it could be stable before it could be something of you know substance so um they may apply this I idea to their love situations as well so just be mindful of that so let's see what your advice is leo Okay, we have the Four of Wands and the Ace of Cups. So, I feel like, okay, so with the Four of Wands, we have the Foundations and Achievements card. So, and we have the Love Begins. I feel like you have to pour this love and, you know, kind of get in the energy of being successful and achieving certain things to really come in and flourish within this connection with this person. Um... I feel like allow this person to kind of build their structure and make sure that they feel stable within themselves so that they can be a secure partner for you if this is the, if, if this is the kind of situation that it is. And I feel also, you know, pour the energy and love into yourself and make sure you don't settle for anything um, less than what you are worthy of. And I feel like this person will return this energy to you um, when it is the right time. So I hope that this reading helps you all. If anyone is interested in a personal reading, all the information will be in the description box below. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.